Steven Otien, Otieno, Saina Rezini Kelo Kassanor, Mini Kaoni Nishpika. Story angu kusu mwanyea, nilikuja kutoka mwanyo, kuja na yungu kuna after job. After them, I was a wendy, a member, one of the members of town, to report my travel in the bush. Hapo, wata kuna dinipanda, mili watu wa nipuwegi, nisikumana pala, na nikaanguka. Nili nianguka chini ya kuna moshi, nili nikuja nikanikata. Mwapu, nilikuwa nikistrago nivu. Nilikutana na 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 si misi kumigieza, misi kuweza kumafondi hizo sasa alikuwa mtia nisaidia ili nipati mingi naeza my name is Udwar John Ndiege. I am a consultant, prosthetist, orthotist, and head of department of orthopedic technology. This department does so many things, but our key things that we are doing are mostly fabrication of prosthetics, fabrication of orthotics, and rehabilitation of these patients in general. What we also do that we must not leave to go without being mentioned is the assembly of wheelchairs because we are the only center in Kenya doing that assembly of those wheelchairs and we do what we call appropriate wheelchair technology service. That is where we give wheelchairs based on the prescription of the patient and this actually we have people, nine of us who have been trained on what we call appropriate wheelchair service. We did not start the wheelchair service long time ago. It is a new service that we have started. We have also improved in our management of club foot. Before we were not giving free foot abduction braces. Right now we are giving foot abduction braces free. Courtesy of Kenyatta National Hospital and the donors that they got that provided that. When I was in a poor means as a gift for honor, how to get a matato to travel in a matato, Napata, cousin in him, Shuki for a wheelchair, Pande for matato, to me and Mikono Panda, no, this I can't be a given a wheelchair, Nahomba, what was his idea, Punam, attack, say, dear Kilam to a cat, and up. What we require to make a prosthesis is simply the machinery and the appropriate materials. If we get the right machinery, we get the right uh, materials, we will be on top of the world, making really on top of the world processes. Because the components that are used even in Europe are the same components we are using here. And uh, we adapt it to our level. Once we get a component and we are not, we know the patient might not be able to pay this, even the hospital cannot be able to buy that. We do what we call modification. So we call it hybrid. Hybrid means you have a section of a, a prosthesis made with the imported parts and a section of that prosthesis made with locally available material. We even recycle the materials that we are using, especially a material like polypropylene, which is a plastic sheet. Once we mold it and uh, we have cut off the parts that are excess, those parts we don't throw them. We recycle them and they can be used for even younger patients, especially children. Then we do a lot of modification for our patients to get the right thing that they need. And in most cases, this depends on the knowledge that we have. Our department has got experts in different areas. 
We have experts in uh, spinal orthotics. We have experts in long leg braces. We have experts in prosthetics, of which I am one of them. We also have experts in management of clubfoot cases. Clubfoot is, uh, in medical terminology, called congenital talipase equinovirus. And congenital talipase equinovirus, we are using a method for conservative management, not operative, not operative. We just do conservative management using plaster of Paris bandages and our manipulation with our hands. Within a duration, if we get a child, because we have also educated the nurses in the newborn unit, if we get a new child at age zero, we will make sure this child celebrates the first birthday when the foot are corrected and are implanted. As we do our prosthesis, there's the fitting and the training stage. That is training this patient how to don and doff the prosthesis. Donning and doffing is like putting on and putting off the prosthesis in layman's language. And uh, that is a very important thing because if they don't know how to put it on nicely or they don't know how to remove it nicely, they can cause, during the time of removing, they can cause a, a scratch and it becomes a wound and it becomes very difficult to manage. So we train them on how to do that. We also train them on how to put it on so that once it fits in, then the patient is comfortable and can walk. If you don't do that, he can put on the prosthesis in a wrong way and he will feel the prosthesis is not comfortable. So we do the training here in the, our workshop first before we move out. We do the training outside. We train them on climbing stairs, coming down, descending, coming down the stairs. And this is done in different phases. We also follow the patients up to their home. First of all, we are interested in knowing what activity do they do in their daily lives so that we follow them and see if they are able to adopt with the use of the prosthesis. Sometimes they are using pit latrines. We also go and advise on how this can be modified to fit the patient who is using a prosthesis. Kenyatta National Hospital is looking, and especially the Department of Orthopedic Technology, we are getting the help from the hospital to subsidize the price of our appliances, which means we are not doing the exact costing to make a profit. We are just to give a service. So we have MOUs of people who support our department and they buy prosthesis for those who are not able. So in such a scenario, we do the actual costing. But in the scene where we are doing it on the Kenyatta account, then we talk to the patient, we look for even some of the recycled uh, uh, materials to make sure that the patient gets the best prosthesis but at the lowest price. Okay. Kenyatta <laughs> inaweza wategenezewa mguu ile ya beishini unaweza ukatembea tena kama mimi saa hii natembea najitegemea kazi yangu hata hiyo viatu nimevaa mimi ndio nimejitengenezea sasa hata wewe unyu pale nje ambao unaketi katika barabara unaomba pia wewe unaweza kupata usaidizi ujeni mkaone ile ile uzuri ambayo iko Kenyatta we want to encourage those who are still out there and have not gotten a, a prosthesis to come to Kenyatta. Let them not go out there in other places. Reasons why they must come to Kenyatta are three, three main reasons. One, we have the expertise. 
I have told you I'm a consultant from 30 to 30. So all the other centers where people are, they come to consult with me. So they will get the best in Kenyatta. Two, in Kenyatta, our prices are subsidized. Remember out there, these people are buying materials and they want to make profit out of it. As we don't do that, we give the service to the patient. Three, we have the facility big enough to give all the care. If the patient needs other attention, like he's having a medical problem, number five is just next to us. We will take the patient to number five to get even the medical attention. So Kenyatta is actually the best place for anybody, any amputee or anybody with a disability to come to and the service will be provided. There are some people who are told we don't have materials in Kenyatta to make a prosthesis. They were to be sponsored by the National Council. So they went looking for other places. I want to assure them right now, we did not lack materials. We have materials. We have never lacked materials. We have materials in place and we have it in plenty. So let them come for the services. Let them not go out there. And when the processes are failed to fit, is when they are coming to us. We want to ask them to come to us direct, not after having gotten a very bad experience out there. Let them come here direct. We will give them the service, fast service, and it will be very fast. People are afraid out there that if you go to Kenyatta National Hospital, there's long queuing and you will be uh, forgotten in the queue. In my department, we attend to patients coming from out direct. There's no queue. I think you have seen for yourself. Our turnaround time is really shortened. So therefore, there's no queue. You come, we interview you, we take the measurement the same day, and the, we will give you a duration that you will wait for the fabrication to take place. Then you come, we fit you, and we finish, we deliver.